Dear learners, welcome to Arpit Live Information Science at IIT Delhi. I am Dr. K. P. Singh, practicing librarian, teacher, teacher activist, academic administrator, University of Delhi. Today, I am going to speak on a very recent topic, application of artificial intelligence and machine learning in library operations and services. This topic includes the various components of related to artificial intelligence, that conceptual understanding of artificial intelligence, application of artificial intelligence in library operations and services. Then it also includes the types of artificial intelligence in libraries, the various pioneers in artificial intelligence. Let us before going to detail in the topic, the pioneers in artificial intelligence and machine learning. I will take you to the two important historical incidents. The one was the industrial revolutions which taken place from the British, United Kingdoms and France, where there was a application of mechanized process to reduce the human intervention. Similarly, uh, in the same century, George Boulay, who is considered the father of information age, born in 1815, who has developed the concept of Boolean logic and Boolean algebra. And his work was pioneered, published in 1854, the analysis of mathematical logic and laws of the thought. And where he has developed two variables, and what was those variables? That was the true and values, and later on it was converted into true and false that 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 later converted into the entire system binary system. And this binary system is the foundation of information age. So, this was the actual beginning of the Boolean algebra and today all the information systems has the Boolean operators in search strategies. The second which is very, very significant while I was looking the literatures, the A. M. Turan, he was a British mathematician, philosopher, cognitive psychologist and theoretical computer scientist. He has developed the first Turing machine and he was also contributed a lot to the computer industries uh, in, in form of encoding the encrypted message and he has developed a Turing machine and for the first time he apply that can a machine think like a human, can take a decision like a human and he has developed that first prototype of Turing machine which is still being used for the general purpose computing machines. But unfortunately, Turing was a great scientist and he could not get recognition for his this great work. And in 2009, there was a movement on internet because he has significantly played a role on internet. And in 2011, the then British Prime Minister Gordon Brown has officially on behalf of the British government and then in his recognition, then another body came into existence to recognize the work of A. M. Turing. And virtually the A. M. Turing is considered the father of theoretical computing system and artificial intelligence. The another important aspect taken place that ACM, Associating Computing Machinery, uh, which is based in New York and it was established in 1947. And it is the association of world IT expert, educators, researchers, teachers, which brings together to dialogue, share knowledge and uh, to address the computer related issues. The ACM established one of the great awards in the found memory of A. M. Turing in 1956 and that called ACM A. M. Turing Award and this award annually given to the worldwide the pioneer in the working 
professionals field of computer science and artificial intelligence. Then another persons came in uh, the pictures that was in 1956. There are two great uh, legend in computer science. One was Alan Newell and another was Herbert Alexander Simon. The Alan Newell was a theoretical uh, computer expert, mathematician, logicians and the Herbert Simon was a American politician, economist, theoretician, management sciences and jointly they have developed one the system for artificial intelligence known as natural language processing for which the ACM has awarded in 1975 uh, the ACM Turing Award. Then I move to the conceptual understanding and meaning of artificial intelligence. Dear learner, the artificial intelligence is a subfield of computer science concerned with understanding the nature of intelligence and constructing computer systems capable of human intelligence. In other words, the theory and development of computer system able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making and translation between languages. The artificial intelligence also focus the search and optimization, natural language processing and knowledge, representation, computer visions and neural works. Component of artificial intelligence. Still today, there are the four basic component of artificial intelligence. One is the logic and rule based. Computer makes decisions based on the decision tree, logic rules or predefined process make a calculated results. Pattern based which generally refers as machine learning. Computer learn over time by using data and algorithm to detect patterns and this is the actual stage of machine learning which automatically learn and give decisions according to his own database. Then deep learning, deep learning is a subset of machine learning that enable the computer uh, to make decision on its own. The last stage of the artificial intelligence in neural networks. A neural networks allows an artificial intelligence to make the own conclusions where a single pattern only based AI must relate solely on data. A neural networks allow deep learning to function. Types of artificial intelligence. There are many types of artificial intelligence, but in generalized form, there are the three types of artificial intelligence. The first one, journal artificial intelligence, which involve continual learning by the machines. For example, self-driving car by Uber and autopilot by Tesla. The second, artificial narrow intelligence, comprises of basic or role tasks such as those performed by chatbots personal assistants like Siri by Apple and Alexa by Amazon. The third one which is called artificial super intelligence consists of intelligent way is smarter than humans such as robotic applications. Future of machine learning toward mind thinking. Friends, intellectual powers makes a mark by complex feat, high level of uh, motivation and self-awareness. Cognitive ability of human intelligence consists of learn, relearn, form concept, understand, apply logic, including capability of recognizing patterns, plan formulate, solve problem, make decision, retain information, use language to communicate. This is the cognitive ability of the human minds. The same being applied in artificial intelligence, in machine learning to think like this. There are three stages of machine learning. The stage one which called machine learning and in machine learning it is a set of algorithm used by intelligence systems to learn from experience such as Siri and Alexa. Stage two machine intelligence. There are advanced sets of algorithms 
used by machine to learn from experience such as deep neural networks. Stage 3 that called machine consciousness highly advanced it is self learning from the experience without need of the external data. I would like to clarify here we have in the physical world we have the uh, spiritual world we have the divine world. So, similarly the third stage of machine learning the machine consciousness is not still in application, but surely this will be the future of machine learning similar to the divine world. Next in the application of artificial intelligence there are the four component of artificial intelligence the first one we called as expert system a computer program that provide expert advice decisions or recommended solution for a given situation. Second natural language processing allow a computer to understand the main linguistic concept semantic and syntax within a questions or solution it goal is to design and build computer that analyze understand generate language that human use naturally. If you see this schematic representation of the natural language processing knowledge representation automatic reasoning by machines and machine learning. Next component of the artificial intelligence is pattern recognition. We have two pattern recognition right now the process of establishing a close match between some new stimulus and previously stored stimulus patterns under this category the examples are barcode, QR code and biometrics. The components of pattern recognitions are data acquisitions, pre-processing, feature extraction, model selections, training and evaluation. Next very very significant component that called robot. The robot terms comes from the jack word robota meaning force lever and because the computer expert are going to develop the robot basis of the human intelligence. So, the machines are going to be developed in the shape and size looks like a human beings. So, the robot are the mechanical device which perform automation tasks either according to direct human supervision or a predefined program or a set of general guidelines using artificial intelligence techniques. So, in the robot when we look the history of robot the first robot actually was used in 1922 and robot Herbert Talvox and the first humanized robot which looks like a human was developed by Japan and known as Wabot in 1972. In 2000 Honda a company of Japan has a debut the ASIMO in order to research bipedal walking robot. In 2010 NASA in collaboration with General Motors also developed a robotics and it was a part of Discovery Shuttle. In 2016 the Hanson Robotic a Hong Kong company released the first robot called Sophia a social robot with silicon skin with ability to interact with the peoples and it has a ability to uh, generate more than 50 type of expressions. Artificial intelligence and its application in library my dear learner the application of artificial intelligence in library is not as such exactly as the application in the core area of computer science in artificial. They are the soft application and they are the conceptualized application of artificial intelligence in the library. The first one the expert system help the librarian in realizing the need for an improvement in library operations and services. A well programmed expert system improve the quality of the operations and services. One of the best examples in this category is the ask librarian and this ask librarian serve as a reference librarian in artificial based system. If you see the chart the artificial intelligence here I have taken some of the component the first component is the opaque and web opaque. 
to elaborate when the library catalog was developed. So, the library professionals has applied the intelligence to prepare the catalog and provide some access point to retrieve the information from the library through the catalog, author search, title search, series search and class. Similarly, when it was converted into opaque and computers was applied, it increased the immersion search options and there is possibility of unlimited search options here. So, that was the first instance somehow the application of this artificial intelligence and the maximum use of artificial intelligence in library operations is the information retrieval systems. The online information retrievals or the digital databases, they are using the maximum application of artificial intelligence, the database like Web of Science, Scopus, Agris, Ennis and Maldas. They are the systems which provide the filter search options and also provide the option to select the best and there is another which is very, very significant that RFID and RFID is reduce the human interventions, it help in tracing and tracking the library material inside the library. Then another application is federated search engines. The federated search engines uh, like Nimbus and Viewfinds that their capability of the search engines which search the informations beyond their boundaries and this is nothing just like a interlibrary loan. The interlibrary loan concept was given by Ranganathan that the books if a user want that should library should provide. So, similarly the federated search engines search the results or search the queries beyond their boundaries and this is one. And thesaurus and ontology is the latest application of artificial intelligence. Application in the artificial intelligence in classification, one of the cool sort semantic network being developed uh, to knowledge base interface designed to serve either as a search or an indexing tools. The another system the biosis to assign document categories automatically the indexing language are structured and practical representation of information use the information in titles of bibliographic document. The AI based reference management tools help the scholars to create and manage their list of references for research projects. Most tools are designed to organize citation into a specific format for preparation of manuscripts and bibliographies. Many such tools provide way to download reference into reference management tools and there is a variety of reference management tools like Jotera, like uh, Mandalay and not and these work on the basis of artificial intelligence. The future of AI applications, the future of AI applications based on the chatbots. People sometimes need help find information on your website a chatbot that notice a user on a page or a long time can make recommendations on hand off to the staff. One AI based application based on the chatbot has been developed uh, for the finding information, instant information and that name is the Nubbot and this is uh, for the DRDO. There is a network of DRDO labs throughout the country. And officially website is there, but if you could find information in real time by asking a questions, the Nubbolt is provide the information instantly and pinpointly in a textual base. That is an application which can be accessed through the mobiles. Advantage of artificial intelligence can take on a stressful and complex work that happens, may struggle, cannot do can complete task faster than a human can most likely to discover unexplored things like outer space, less errors and defects, functions is indefinite, disadvantage of artificial intelligence, lacks of human touch as the artificial intelligence based machines does not have emotions. So, they do not have the human touch has the ability to replace human jobs, 
it is a alarming situation because the artificial based systems, it is a threat to the human jobs, can malfunctioning and do the opposite of what they are programmed to do, can be misused leading to mass scale destructions, may corrupt the younger generation. These are the disadvantage of artificial intelligence, challenges of artificial intelligence. Friends, nature is nature, human is human. There is no replacement of human, but there can be a alternate of humans. There is a challenge of artificial intelligence. The first challenge is precision. The idea of garbage data in garbage data out. If you flood an artificial intelligence base bad data and do not set the proper syntax or threshold, you will get incorrect results. Second component which is very, very significant, the context. Artificial system can struggle with understanding the concept. For example, asking Siri or Alexa, call me an ambulance may yield ok. From now on, I call you an ambulance. Here the context is different. I am talking about to call a ambulance, but the artificial based application understanding that may I call you as ambulance. Third training, similar to having good data, an artificial intelligence might need to be learned the correct response for the correct situation or identify dangers or improper interactions. Conclusion, the artificial intelligence machines, they are the amazing machines, they are the future machines. They have makes the human lives more convenient, more enjoyable on the contrary, the entire humankind is on the mercy of machines. But if such system, advanced system being developed, they may be very, very useful for scientifically applied in forecasting the weather, flood in medicines. On the contrary, if they are applied in the destruction of mass weapons, there may be danger of the society. So, dear learners, it is up to you or it is up to the society in what context they use the artificial intelligence. I am sure the future will be artificial intelligence, systems which can take on decisions, which can take on reasoning based decisions. And last concluding and I am thankful to the IIT Delhi, especially the coordinator of Arpit program for giving me this opportunity to share my views on artificial intelligence and its application in library operations and services. For any clarifications, comments, suggestions, may I request uh, to put your queries on our discussion forum or write to me directly on mail kpsing330 at gmail.com. Thank you.